Yep. I it was Here good. we go. It's a classic rock power hour on WDIV. Time for Live in the D on a Tuesday. Chuck, Tati, and me. Some spring storms. Did you get hit by lightning? You okay? <laughs> you're, you're filled with power. You're, that no, woke me up. He's on a sugar high because he was eating pancakes behind our back. No, That's I what wasn't. I think happened. <laughs> Not true at all. That's what happened. No? Lies. Filthy lies. <laughs> See, I told you. You've been hit by lightning. Uh, today's jam is free ride by the Edgar Winter Group. Maybe we can work Frankenstein in later on as well. What's going on? Nothing much. How are you? You ready for pancakes? I am. It smells great in here. I wish we had smell of vision. Phenomenal. But, uh, it's really good. Phenomenal. I like it. So how about this? It's something I like. I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. It's getting ready to happen. Uh-huh. Free parking meters all the time for certain people. Under a proposal in Lansing, Michigan drivers over the age of 75 would be eligible. We can keep the music going. The yeah, we're not into it. it was like the guitar solo was right? coming up just then. 75, right? Yeah. So, but it, it, okay, go ahead, go ahead, finish the story, and I'll All tell right. you what I'm so thinking. So, what would happen is they would be eligible for a state sticker that you would place on their car, and it would allow them to park at meters for free. I think this is a nice way to honor our elders. You can right. park and go handle your business, shop, whatever you need to do, and then. Right? The no? story said something about a special sticker attached to the Car. handicap sticker thing. So oh, now you're kind handicap. of tying it together like, I guess that's so cops know at a glance that, you know, this car is special. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you've, you're 75. There's a whole group of people that are going to age into 75. That's going to be a lot of uh, loss of revenue. Plus, if you made it to 75, you got a quarter. I'm just saying. You know <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I kid the 75 year old. Uh, I like the idea. Baby boomers are about to become a huge senior population. Right. How about. But they're uh, all healthy 20%. and good looking. They're not like, you know, seniors of. That's what I'm yesteryear. saying. The loss of 20% of Michigan's population is going to age into the 75. So that means about 2 million people will no longer have to put money in a meter. I'm just saying. So basically, you're saying we're going to lose too much money? Or maybe. All right. I didn't think of it that did way. Did you like you like it? I did because I was like, oh, that's nice. Let's honor our elders and you know give uh -huh, them a little uh -huh. break after doing everything that they've done in life and for society and community. So I didn't think of it that way though. We're losing money. All right. Well, Nike's looking to make some more money. Uh, the latest brand to get on board with the positive body image movement. The company is releasing a line of plus size fitness wear for women. Uh, on the digital show that we originate from the newsroom at 9:15 every day, uh, the feedback was instant, and people, ladies, were saying, "I'm all down for it." Absolutely. I it's, mean, I, I thought it existed already. That's right. how naive I was to it because that, you know, what they say is the average American woman is a size 14. That definitely doesn't fit into the, you know. And how about if you are that woman and you want to be a size 10 or 12, you want to work out and not feel like you don't fit into exactly. the rest of the crowd? Exactly. I think this is, and you're right, I think this does exist, but it's just Nike. Okay. Uh, the new collection includes uh, tank tops, sports bras, running shirts, leggings, jackets. Good. We give it a thumbs up, mm -hmm, a hearty mm -hmm. three thumbs up from the Live in the D team. So we've got some new research, you know, the research department up there on the eighth floor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got new research just in, comes down in little tubes like at the bank, and it came in. And from the hotel next door. <laughs> <laughs> determined that two things that turned people into internet trolls. One, according to the Stanford and Cornell University project, the tone of other comments and person's mood can turn them into one of those people who leave offensive or nasty comments online. Well, I think those huh. moods can make people offensive and nasty in real life. So I don't know, why is it any surprise that it happens, you know, in a chat when you're on a blog or reading an article, so. It they didn't also, surprise me. Did it right, surprise you? No. Yeah. They also found all it takes is one person to make a mean post online, and it can spiral into a bunch of people mm -hmm. trolling back and forth and comments. And yeah, I saw, I saw this exact thing online this morning where it was this young lady, which I'm not even going to... Everyone knows who she is, but I'm not giving her any more. I don't know. Say her name. I'll tell oh. you that. I'm not giving her any more because she's just a, a, a young person who's getting attention for doing the wrong thing. Oh, okay? okay. So someone in the comments wrote, and why do we care about this? And someone replied, well, if you don't care about it, why don't you just move on? You know what I mean? So it's Whoa. like, I think it brings out the worst in people. So hmm. like, it's true. The comment section. Tis true, tis true. There is a study that has everybody talking today. It's from the Journal of Management. Researchers from Oregon State, uh, University of Oregon, and University of Washington have found that married couples who are at home more <laughs> often are happier at work. He was hit by lightning. See, so. what, what? <laughs> 
And so what employees said that they had made. I'm waiting for your sound effect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The night before, they tend to be happier and more engaged at work. So what's troubling about this is, um, so if people are not happy and engaged at work, should people start assuming the opposite oh, about them? Yeah, that is like, yeah. I blushed when I read this, because that is gonna be like, you're gonna start thinking all these things about your coworkers. I was like, oh my goodness! And I didn't want to think about you in that way! <laughs> uh, 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 all right, but, but you know, they say in the study, there's always an asterisk, right? The study says it doesn't account for other factors. They may bring on happiness. It was especially, the study was especially focused on sex. Yeah, you know, my mind is working too much. Oh, this is what it is. What you thinking over there? <laughs> I'm blind. What did you do? You were like, no, oh. I was like, I read, the, I read it and I was like, okay, I could see how that could be true. But they see the opposite. <laughs> right, is, you're you know, having a bad day and you're thinking, oh, poor. <laughs> Poor Yuri. Poor so -so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor so -so. You ever do this in real life in yeah, front of people? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness! It's kind, of, it's kind of like Mrs. Doubtfire. It's kind of. Oh. 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 All right. Here's something any parent or grandparent can relate to. You're a grandparent. But I am. Can you relate to this? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Let's find out. You're talking to your child or grandchild, and you keep calling them by their sibling. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My own children. Well, somebody get Matthew, Charlie, Kelsey, <laughs> Tiffany, somebody get right. Uh, and you go through the whole list and the dog and Bella. Yeah, yeah somebody. <laughs> right. Thank you. you. Can't leave the dog out. That happened in my family all the time. Yeah. It's like 500 of us. So it's so the reason it's good, right? <laughs> uh, apparently. So it's not because of memory loss, but for a really good reason. Yeah. According to an investigation in the Journal of Memory and Cognition, because there is such a thing, it's because you care for the, so the person in the same manner as you do the other person. Uh, so if you call one person's friend by another person's name, it's because of your relationship. Calling a child uh, by their sibling's name, same thing. It's, it shows equal care. Okay. Now that makes my day, because you know what some of our kids were saying the other day at the dinner table? Hmm. They were over. It wasn't this week and maybe a week ago. Mom and Dad, did you did you ever have a favorite? And we're like, mm. no, there's no way. But now that you say that, that makes me feel better because when yeah. I do say Tiffany, Charlie, Matt, Kelsey, Riley, somebody, I don't know, whichever right. one, then that means <laughs> that I've kind of thought of them in the same way. Right. Awesome. Makes sense. Now I feel better, Good even stuff. though I am losing it. Even though I am one of the favorites, so it, you know, I just I let it slide anyway. <laughs> my mother-in-law does this. I'm going to have to ask her what she thinks about the study. Okay. She I'm does it. She'll oh, oh yeah, she's, she'll yeah. go through two or three names to get to. Yeah. Sometimes, not all the time. Well, there's a company that has apparently developed a new ink for tattoos that uh, conducts electricity. Yes. Mm -hmm. It means that devices can be mounted onto the skin wow. and sensors placed in them to monitor your health. This feels oh. very biblical. It like, does. Yeah. They're going to monitor your health. It's the end of the world. Yeah. So if you, because you know there's been talk for a long time about this or a chip Mm -hmm. or something where literally we will, uh, we're talking about cashless, we are cashless sure. basically now if you want to be, and so you just have to what, lean your shoulder in at the scanner when you're checking out at Target or you're just mm -hmm. walking around? I, I think there's more to this than just uh, you don't have to carry a credit card or 20 bucks, it's going to track much. you? Yeah. What you drink, what you partake what? in, you know, what if people are smoke things they shouldn't be smoking, but it's developed by a company called Chaotic Moon. Uh huh. Um, you don't have to put it in a, any other place, right? That's not in, an implication of the, <laughs> of the, huh? Of the place you put the tattoo thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make up the name. It's right there, the story. I just, oh, I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel, right? <laughs> this is true. This actually, the, in the news, we haven't talked about it yet, and I'm, I suspect that we're probably not going to, but there is a new product on the market that is, um, a, a, sort of like a electronic prophylactic that will measure what's going on down there uh, to make to make sure things are functioning. I'm serious, serious. No, I believe you. It's a, me, not... it's, a, it's a real medical story. Look it up. I'm not. There's a company behind it and the whole thing. And it, yeah. Jason Carr will have it posted on his Facebook page after the show. Well, this gonna say, one tomorrow. They're, you know, all those people that study ratings are gonna go look. They they were edgy. That's working. Let's keep. <laughs> All right, so anyway, this tattoo thing or whatever it is, it's, it's in beta testing. They, they do say there's something good. What if, what if a tattoo could measure your heart rate? What if it could tell you if uh, your blood pressure just went, it spiked? Sure. What if it actually could even tell you something about, about your blood? I don't yeah, think I don't want to start getting emails or text messages yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about, hey, you ate too much sugar today. <laughs> like, yeah, stop taking the stairs. Yeah, you, you know. Yeah. So. All right, speaking of technology, would you ever keep your phone 
in a different room while you <laughs> sleep? Absolutely not. But health experts say electronics, right? Right. Used while you're in bed and plugged into or you know plugged in next to your bed can ruin your sleep. What do you think? Do you keep this your phone in your This does bother me, and I I keep it there because I know that all of my kids know. Yep. There's nobody in my family, short of my parents, that has a traditional phone line, mm -hmm. which means if I need to get a call, I don't know. So I keep the phone there, and then it goes ding, and something flashes, and I do wake up. Mm -hmm. And like a dummy, I'm, I'm reading this this morning, and, well, just turn the phone upside down. That would help. Right, at least with the light. But I agree with right. you. Everybody has a cell phone. That's the only phone I have, so people I would... charge it right next to the bed. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how many people out there, there are seniors out there who are still renting their phones from Ma Bell. Oh, Lord. Or they have the flip phone. Oh, you're, you're talking, talking about, about home. Yes, like, yes. Like years ago, they right. got the uh, trim line hanging on the wall. They're still paying $4.95 a month for it because a company spun wow. off and still charges that fee. Aside from that, I wonder how many people still have the old school, like, um, Cobra, like, answering machine where you call the oh, house yeah. and that kicks in. With the old school little tape in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't because know. Because once you have that, why would you ever get if rid it's of still it? working? If you're yeah, still right. yeah, if it still works and you still own your home for the last thirty years, why right, would you sure. have ever gotten rid of your answering machine? Why right. would you? I'm curious, but well, you can tell us at four the number four live in the D. That's mm -hmm. our Facebook page. So. Yep. so interesting stuff. Good stuff. So now we've talked about cashless societies, tattoos. What about pennies? Do you you still carry change? Absolutely. You still have change in your pocket? No, I get rid of it. As soon as I acquire change, at the end of the day, I put it into a dish and then it f slowly fills up in a jar and then we go take it to Coinstar or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that that's what a lot of men do. They get rid of it immediately Mine at the end of the day. Mine goes to my grandson. Okay. Because my granddaughter's not tall enough to figure it out yet. Okay, well, yeah. I keep change in my wallet. I try okay. to have a few quarters, yep. feed a meter, oh boy. Yeah, a few yeah. pennies. You know, right. sometimes you have cash and I don't want to get 96 cents back. So I like having four pennies to, you know, to give. You have an advantage. Tell. Yes, I do. You I get have to a huge carry advantage. a thing. You get to carry. I'm not. We're not going to walk around with a coin purse. I'm not going to keep it in the little <laughs> thing in my the, uh, the ashtray car thing. like my wife does. Either. Yeah. yeah. Well, what if we did away with pennies? Would you guys care? No. No. What, what if you do buy something for cash and it's uh, three fifty six? You're going to let them round up and go. Oh, just give me back. You're at the hardware store. You just bought a little bag of screws. What are you going to do? I mean, it's your money. And it's not like two cents. They're just going to round it up and take more of our money. But it, okay, so basically, this is the story. It, it apparently costs one and a half cents to make one penny. So technically, it costs more to make it than what huh. it's worth. So they say it could save the U.S. Mint fifty-two million dollars if we eliminated the penny altogether. They left a part out of the story. So right. instead of making pennies out of copper, I know we call it, right. you know. Well, it's not really copper, make it is out it? of a slug, make it out of something cheaper mm -hmm. that costs a third of a penny, and then we'd save twenty million. We can still have a penny. That's a good idea. Then you know, we're, we're worried about the wrong stuff. Instead of worrying about pennies, we need to be worried about the ladies in the line with the pocketbook looking for the change that you they're holding. Hater, <laughs> he's such a hater. Still ahead, live.